I'm Sir Tap Tap, and today I'm going to show you how to get every hidden fish in Abyssrium. I've been reluctant to do a video for this because I already have a written guide, which, in my opinion, is a much easier way to get all this info, but, uh, we're just going to go right down the list. So, our first hidden fish is the blue clownfish. You just need to take a picture of a clownfish three times. Um, pretty basic one. Um, for the snowflake clownfish, you need to press the Twitter button in settings five times, for some reason. Um, then there's Randall's Gobi, which you just need to take a picture of a Gobi three times. This is a pretty common theme. You'll need to take pictures or share pictures of whatever your latest fish is. That's right, Parker. For the most part, most of these fish do not require, uh, that you have the other, like, the coral that unlocks their friends. Like, you don't need, uh, fresh seaweed to get the Randall's Gobi. Um, well, I mean, you do because you need... A goby to take a picture of, but bad example. But uh, there's only a few that require their coral. I'll mention those specifically. Uh, clown tang is five pictures of tangs. For convict tang, you just need to leave the game open and not touch it for about an hour. Um, I would recommend just leave your phone plugged in, and the game itself should keep your phone awake. Um, you might want to wait a little bit longer than just an hour. Uh, in general, expect the late. there'll be a little latency in terms of when you actually get your hidden fish. The game's not the best at checking things, and it can be a little buggy. Uh, Naso Tang is probably the most reviled fish in the game. You need to own 50 Tangs in order for that to work. Um, it is really an awful challenge. I don't recommend even trying for that until you have about Z vitality. Um, it just is a real pain. And there's a lot of more fun fish you could be getting if you try to get it as soon as possible. Uh, the juvenile penny at spade fish you unfortunately need to connect to Facebook for. Um, you need to make five Facebook friends. What that means is you need to connect to Facebook, and five people on Facebook that are friends t for, with you need to play the game and have it attached. Um, there are Facebook groups you can Google. Um, you can get on there. I recommend making a fake Facebook account. Uh, it's just nice to have for other games. Because lots of games like to reward you for spamming your Facebook, so it's just nice to have that, you know, a fake Facebook, and then you can just add people in those groups. There are groups to uh, add Facebook friends. Um, I don't really recommend getting in those groups with your real Facebook because, you know, there's a lot of people with access to what could potentially be, you know, personal information. Uh, I just don't like stuff like that. Anyway, cross damsel, just three pictures of a damsel, simple stuff. The Jewel Damsel is a weird one. You gotta tap the upper left corner of the screen a thousand times. Um, I usually tap with multiple fingers, but for this one, I've had some people report that it doesn't seem to work if you tap with four fingers or, you know, multiple fingers. Um, so I would just try a single tapping. Just kind of drum your fingers, one, two, one, two, um, in that general vicinity at the top left, and you should ideally get that. Uh, the French Angel, just save a picture of the angelfish three times. Uh, so what you want to do to save it is take the picture yeah 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 and then just press that save button as a tip when you're saving uh, something to, when you share to Twitter what you do is you can just press the share button and then just back out of it and it'll count as sharing for any of the ones that required you to share something so you don't have to spam your friends you can just fake it out like that uh, for the Peppermint Angel, you gotta own 30 Angels. Again, very annoying fish. I recommend waiting until you have about Z Vitality. Then you should have uh, pretty much all the fish you can get up until that point. And after you hit Z Vitality, the game just progresses a lot faster for a while. So you'll be able to get, like, dozens of fish within just, like, hours. It's pretty crazy. Uh, for the Queen Angel... I'm sorry, my cat just needs attention right now is <laughs> being very annoying. Hi, Parker. Um, for the Queen Angel, you need st Fragile Staghorn Coral, level 3000. Um, just, you'll get it eventually. It's not really anything you can work towards, specifically. Just recommend, just check your coral every once in a while and upgrade when you can. Um, there's the Springer Dotty back. Share pictures three times, I guess. You'll get that one pretty early. Some of these, I've forgotten some of these because I, I got them so long ago. Um, any of the ones that say start application upon notification, um, the way that one works is 
30 minutes after you close the game, there's a chance that you'll get a notification. And then you just open that notification, and it, the notification only lasts... Parker, please! You are being so disruptive. Um, the notification only lasts for 10 minutes. So... Basically, you, you just you should get these over time just by having the game closed. But um, what you can do to try to force a check is close the game, set your phone's clock forward 31 minutes, and then just open the game. And whether or not you see a notification, it will be in that time period where it will be checking for a notification fish. Um, there's still a chance that you might not get it because it's not always, you know, it, it's a random chance based thing. So you might just not get it. Uh, it might take a few tries. But there's a bunch of different fish like that, so if you're missing those fish, you can just try that method. Um, you should get it over a few days. Over the course of a few days, you should get a few of them, but uh, that's sort of a last chance thing. This is, for the Moorish Idol, you want to take a picture of the mystery chest five times. Ah, Parker! Don't jump on me! <laughs> um, so for that, you want to focus specifically on the mystery chest. Um, it, it works kind of just like a fish. So, Pajama Cordial, you need to open open the application 20 times in one day. That's pretty easy. You'll probably get that on your first day if you're as obsessed as I was. Um, just hit the home button and reopen the game a bunch of times if you really need to uh, open that one, but you probably won't. Uh, for the Panther Grouper, you need to share a picture of a uh, parrotfish 10 times. The Mai Mai down below actually counts as the parrotfish as well. Uh, for the Mai Mai, you need to play at midnight ten times. Um, this one seems to be buggy. Some people report getting it just totally randomly. Um, some people report cheating the clock has worked for them. Um, I I tried cheating the clock, and then I got it the next day at like 2 p.m. I, I don't know if cheating the clock helped or not, or if it's just random or... If the time is offset and it's not actually midnight, uh, I, I unfortunately really don't know with that one. Um, you can try messing with the clock to open and close the game at midnight ten times, but uh, it's just kind of buggy, and it seems like people just kind of eventually get it, even if they don't try. So I wouldn't worry too much about that one. For the uh, Coelacanth, you just need to play the game for 28 days. There's a calendar of daily rewards that'll appear and there's I believe four or five different fish you can get from that so the 28 day reward is Colocanth for that one um, this is one of many fish you have to be online to get um, various features don't work offline so if you literally can never play this game online I honestly can't really recommend it it, it really is important to get at least once in a while get a connection the camel cowfish is share a picture of a box fish three times um, that really means any of these um, puffer fishes, which can be anything called a box fish or a trigger or a cowfish. Those are all um, those are all blowfish slash box fish. Uh, which else ones? There we go. Start application upon notification. Yeah, we th this one you'll get after the prior notification fish. It's just you get them all the same way. You just get them in order. Um, so you get that dragon net first, then you get the juvenile spotted boxfish, then you get the whale shark, and then you get the um, red weedy sea dragon, I believe. Sea slug is just that attendance system from before. You play for seven days, you'll get it. Um, the striped marlin is infamous for being extremely rare and fussy. Let me show you what the striped marlin looks like. Uh, this is pretty much a function of time spent and randomness. It's really hard to, like do anything to get but the way this works is every 30 minutes that the game is open not 30 minutes of real time but 30 minutes that the game is open you'll get a swarm of these striped marlin they'll move all around the screen really fast and um where'd they freaking go yeah. <laughs> they I swear they edited their AI to like swim way out in the middle of nowhere but they'll swim all around your tank and all you need to do is take a picture immediately and then you can move around the image while you're while you're taking a picture focus on one of the striped marlin retake the photo and then you'll get it the, what you what you technically the actual unlock condition is just take the photo of the striped marlin but 
like, it's so weird. Every half hour, there's a chance they'll appear. I've heard 10%. I don't know why people know 10%, but it's very rare, and I've heard people, I've heard of people just, like, opening their camera and just staring up into the abyss, kind of like this, and just watching, and at that 30 minute mark, you might see them swimming around. They swim around pretty fast, and they're pretty noticeable, and it's a bit, it's a group of about 5 to 10. Um, they're pretty hard to miss, as long as you're actually watching, and they actually appear. That's just the hard part, because they're pretty hard to get to appear. Um, I don't believe there's any trick to it, I don't think... Some people have suspicions that watching ads will reset your timer. That doesn't appear to be true. Um, some people think you need to stow or store all of your fish. That's not true. I had all my fish out. It can make it a little easier to see them, but really, they're pretty hard to miss. It's just that they don't appear often. Uh, for the potbelly seahorse, you need a picture of a th seahorse three times. Pygmy seahorse, like the Mai Mai... This one's weird and buggy, and it says you need to play the seahorse. You need to play at 4 a.m. five times. I got this one by cheating the clock. It seems to be less buggy than the Mai Mai, but um, you might just get this randomly. Um, some people think that it's just if the game is running even in the background when your phone is asleep at 5 a.m., it counts as one time. Uh, I don't know if that's true, but it has just been a thing where people get it randomly, and we're not entirely sure why. Uh, it's one of the ones, I wouldn't really worry about that one until you've run out of other hidden fish to get. The Leafy Sea Dragon is the first of the, our January update fish. So, in January, they updated the game with a bunch of new coral that were very, very expensive. Um, I've got the prices here. So the White Swingin' Enemy is 200 AV Vitality. And that means you need to go all the way past Z Vitality, and then back, like, you end up with two letters like I've got there. You can see I have C, B Vitality. So, like, after you go through A, you go to A, A Vitality, then A, B, and so on, all the way until you're to B, A. And then it loops around and loops around. So, A, V seems, might seem ridiculous if you're just starting up. It's not quite too crazy, but it's definitely going to take you a little bit of time. So, for the leafy sea dragon, it seems hidden, but all you need to do is buy that white swing and enemy. You'll get the leafy sea dragon, you'll get the ribbon sea dragon. For the weedy sea dragon, you need that white swing and enemy, and you need to take a picture while you're using delicious food. So, it's pretty simple. You just take a picture while the little heart is on screen. Um, you don't need to focus on the delicious food items you it should just work as soon as you leave the uh, take a photo screen the red weedy sea dragon is another one of those notification fish um, people have gotten this one without the white swing and enemy actually uh, it might be a bug and they might patch that at some point but um, at present you might get it without it and if you don't maybe wait because you know they might have fixed it now for the giant sea dragon you'll need to get all four other sea dragons simple enough for the Mom Stinger, you need to take a picture of jellyfish ten times. Uh, the only other jellyfish is the moon jellyfish and the giant jellyfish that you have to pay for. Um, none of the hidden fish will require a fish that, you've paid, that you have to pay for. Um, they're pretty good about that. I do have my complaints about the game, but you really don't need to pay anything to get anything other than stuff that is specifically required. Like, you know, obviously you have to buy the black and white clownfish, but there's no fish that those fish unlock, if that makes sense. So, the cephalopods are another set that we need a special coral for. You need the blue table coral, which is 3 AC vitality, which is the cheapest of the new coral. Uh, by the way, the new coral sucks and doesn't generate as much energy, I will show you. It doesn't generate as much vitality. See, it's way more expensive. The blue... Or, look at the orange blade coral. Um... It generates a fraction of what the white swing costs, or generates, even though it's more expensive. It's stupid. Anyway, you just need to get the blue table coral to get the octopus. To get the cuttlefish, you need three octopi. Simple enough. For the vampire squid, you need to get the blue table coral first. Then you tap the upper right corner a thousand times. Um, you can't... 
you can't tap the right corner before getting the, the blue table coral. Um, piglet squid, you just need to share a photo of the vampire squid five times. The colossal squid says you need to own all mus mollusca, which is mollusks, which is actually inaccurate. What that really means is that you need the octopus, cuttlefish, vampire squid, and piglet squid. There's various other mollusks in the game, like the sea slug and the giant squid, that don't count for that. The giant squid is just a reward for playing the game 35 days. That's that online attendance system again. Giant isopod is play the game for 14 days. Nautilus, you just need to use delicious food 50 times. That'll come pretty naturally. The oarfish is another one of those daily reward things for 21 days. For the leatherback turtle, you need to open the mystery chest 50 times. So if you're adverse to ads, you will have to open that mystery chest at least 50 times. Uh, the Commersion Dolphin, you'll need to save a picture of the Lonely Coralite three times. Which, I believe that's wrong, actually. Hold on. Right, right, right. So, the Commersion Dolphin, um, I can't believe they never fixed this. But, um, you need to take a picture of dolphins three times. So that includes either the Bottlenose Dolphins, um, it also includes the Narwhal, which is next here. Um, but yeah, don't... The, the, the in-game description is wrong on that one. I don't believe they've ever fixed it. Um, the narwhal, you need to top the upper left corner 5,000 times. That will take you some doing. Uh, it does eventually happen. It doesn't have to all be in one session or anything, by the way. Um, it is possible to do in one session, but uh, don't, you know, be afraid of closing the app or anything. It just takes a while. For the manta ray, you need to share a photo of stingray three times. That'll probably be... The Spotted Eagle Ray is probably the only one you'll have before you get the uh, Manta Ray. Um, but there are other rays you can get. These are more of those January update fish. You have to buy the very expensive Orange Blade Coral, which costs 11 BP vitality, which is quite a lot. So the Sawfish, you just need the Orange Blade Coral, Shovelfish... Or shovel nose guitar fish, you just need the coral. For the torpedo ray, you need to own 75 kinds of normal fish, which you probably already will by the time you get BP vitality, because that's pretty intense. Um, the bowmouth guitar fish, you need to master all skills. So, what that means is you need to level Volcanic Eruption, Delicious Food, and Song of the Moon all to level 11. That will cost, let's see, 5,000 plus. Yeah, that'll cost. 10,000 gems total, so it's a lot. It's not quite impossible, but um, it'll take you some time. Fortunately, that's such a late fish, you might already have that. Um, you might already have that many gems collected, but yeah. It doesn't include... The ones here at the bottom with the orange trim, those are called artifacts. Those aren't skills. It's just these three skills that you cast here at the top that account uh, for that. Then there's giant guitar fish, which requires 200 total fish. You'll probably already have 200 total fish by, have, by the time you have BP vitality. For the hammerhead shark, you just need to save a picture of a shark three times. Simple enough. Whale shark is another one of those notification fish. Uh, the legendary sunfish is a weird one. It's an event fish and is technically a hidden fish, but you can't get it anymore. You can buy more of them if you already unlocked it. And you unlocked it by tapping the Sunfish Vitality 100 times. But if you haven't unlocked it now, you can't get it anymore because it was um, it was kind of a little crossover project between them and uh, the game called Survive Mola Mola. Um, yeah, all these are pretty basic. Oh, right, the Dugong is hidden now. It doesn't look like it, but uh, the Dugong is hidden and you need to own Starhorn Coral and own 78 types of fish. Uh, you'll just kind of get that as you continue to play along. Um, the thousand-year-old blue whale, you need to own all normal fish, which includes all of the hidden fish and all of the incredibly expensive other fish. The 100-year-old the blue whale is basically impossible to get right now because you need DL vitality, which is crazy. Even I don't have that. A few people do. I do suspect a degree of cheating in some of that, or just a degree of playing the game an incredible amount. But I wouldn't worry about it too much. They've said they're going to expand the game so that it's easier to get those in some way. 
Um, I'll believe it when I see it. Um, there are a couple here that we missed because I don't have the coral for them. So, there's also the giant green kelp, which you can unlock that gets four more, five more fish. Um, that costs freaking D, yeah, DL vitality. Um, which is crazy. Um, that unlocks the basking shark. And it also lets you get the beluga whale if you also have ten Irrawaddy dolphins. Um, the dwarf whale you can get if you own 99 kinds of fish, which you probably will at that point, I believe. It also unlocks Migaloo, which you have to share 100 pictures. You have to share pictures of 100 different fish after unlocking the giant green kelp. So that's a lot of work even after you've freaking found it. But that's 100 different species of fish. you got to share the picture of them after you get the green kelp. Don't waste your time before you have it. Um, and it also, the blue whale, the 1,000 year old blue whale is also in the giant green kelp tier. Um, and there are also some cool deep sea fish. Where are those? I'm sorry, I don't have these, so I'm reading my own guide looking for these. Um, the pink tree coral costs CS vitality, which I'm getting slightly close to-ish, you know, more than half an alphabet, if you consider that close. Um, the pink tree coral unlocks the sea pig, the hatchet fish, everyone's favorite blobfish. To get the blobfish, you got to share a picture of the sea pig five times as well. Um, the mega mouth shark, you need to unlock, you need to own 15 great white sharks. And um, the gulper eel, you need to own 250 fish. Again, by the time you actually get to CS Vitality, you'll have 250 fish. So you'll get that immediately. So yeah, if, if you if you don't have any new fish to buy, you need to collect a bunch of white sharks. You need to collect Irrawaddy dolphins. You need 10 of those. You need a whole crap ton of tangs. 50 tangs and 30 angelfish to get the peppermint angelfish. So yeah, if you, if you don't know what to buy, just buy those just to save yourself a little bit of a headache later on. So that is all of the current non-event fish in Abyssrium. I, when they update the game, I'll probably just do a video only for the new fish. I, I don't tend to like videos that, you know, video walkthroughs, but this was requested. Um, oh yeah, you can, you can go through the list, by the way, and you can see certain fish... Like, you don't know how to get these, but these, um, you know, I explained how to get them, but, uh, you can see what fish you're missing here, even if you don't, you know, know the conditions. But, um, if you paid attention, you should know how to get whatever you're looking for. Uh, if not, you can either rewatch the video, or I always keep my written guide up to date. There'll be a link to that in the description. If you just search Sir Tap Tap Abyssrium, you'll find it. It's uh, very high in the search results. Yeah, that is your full list of the hidden fish in Abyssrium. I hope that helped. And if there's any updates, there'll be a video in... Uh, I have a playlist full of these videos. Um, there'll be another video for any update fish. And that'll get you going there.